Shattered Space has finally dawned upon us, gripping us into a new adventure. Not only do we have an entire new system to explore, we now virtually have unlimited amounts of mods we can use to destroy our saves. Basically now having the ability to sink the Titanic just with Starfield mods, we have a ton of new amazing weapons. Some of them completely unique to Shattered Space, some kind of reskins, and some completely new mechanics that are quite refreshing to see. Some of these guns have a bit more of a sci-fi experience, and while most of you will find some of these weapons looting and exploring, some of these are locked behind certain things. However, to keep things very spoiler free, I'm just going to give you the rough indications in order not to spoil it too much for you. However, be assured you'll be able to get these weapons for yourself. And these are going to be some sure guaranteed ways to get the best guns in shattered space. And some of these new guns might just be your favorite of all time. With all that said, let's get into how to get all the best unique weapons from shattered space. Come along for the journey. And if you do get anything out of this, consider liking, subscribing. It really goes a long way. Cheers. Let's get into it. When it comes to getting your very first legendary weapon from Shattered Space, more than likely the first one you will encounter is going to be one of the Shimmers. By far the coolest looking blades we've seen in Starfield so far. These are completely unique to Shattered Space and to the Riverune faction. Now the interesting thing about this particular legendary drop, which you'll only be able to pick up after completing the second main story quest, The Promised Broken. Depending on how lucky you are with the drops, you'll be able to get one of the three variations. This is the first variation you can get. This is the second, which you'll certainly come across this one a lot more in the game. It's a much more common drop. And then lastly, we have this deadly looking melee weapon. Now, if you're lucky, you can get anywhere from 225 to 300 physical damage, depending on your level. From my testing, this particular blade has some of the highest damage you can get, as long as you get the right modifications that come with these weapons. Now, as mentioned, these will be automatically deposited into your inventory, so the drops will be random, and this will be after to the main mission quest, The Promised broken quest and when it comes to upgrading these bad boys if you haven't played starfield in a while you'll now be able to upgrade and modify your melee weapons and if you're looking for a mod that adds a ton of new melee modification upgrades is you're looking for this mod by og tennessee the tn's melee weapons modification enhanced this will add so much more flavor to your melee experience within starfield currently i don't have it installed now if you do get one of the blades that you do not like you will actually be able to change the appearance by changing the various different upgrades so this is a relatively new system within starfield where depending on what upgrade you get will determine the blade appearance and style and the really cool thing this also impacts your handle as well having two different variations in terms of appearance for your melee weapon handle but for pure damage the best upgrades appear to be high carbon steel and force extruded handle what you will note between the weapons which always will be identical is the three perks you get you'll always only get demoralizing berserker and poison and it's just going to be different upgrades now when it comes to dishing out damage these melee weapons depending on your configuration will either slash quite quickly or in this case heavy and slow but do a ton of damage and that is with this current selection however if we switch to a more nimble configuration with lower damage for instance this particular configuration you'll notice that we slash quite quicker we do quite a good amount of damage so you will see some difference between the use of these weapons however you will certainly have to watch out from taking damage from these because these are going to hurt a lot a cool unique weapon to add to the arsenal for sure for the next amazing legendary weapon that you can find as a reward in shattered space would probably be an all-time favorites for many people especially with its minigun like crazy perked fast firing beast of a weapon this is the first particle machine gun that we've had in starfield and this thing is absolutely punishing and if you want to pick up this beast of a weapon called the star storm you'll obtain this as a reward from the third mission within the main quest line called zealous overreach this particular weapon will be spawned with all kinds of different potential damages unique perks so this one will be much more random the next weapon which is probably by far my favorite is the penumbra this is by far one of the cool looking Varun weapons with what appears to be some heat distribution copper for the particle weapon as well as even a copper barrel. The unique thing about this weapon is it has a very unusual projectile type firing a particle ball or bubble that can pass through multiple enemies having a huge area of effect being high damage as as it passes through the enemies it just continues to do damage the whole way as it goes. This is by far the most unique weapon we've seen officially added to Starfield. To obtain this weapon you will have to complete the main quest mission 5 exhuming the past this will be the mission reward by far the coolest and amazing weapon now do note this particular reward is set in stones in terms of what weapon perks you get you'll only be able to get demoralizing radioactive exterminator however you will get a fluctuation on the various different modifications to this weapon now when it comes to the only 
completely unique weapon. As in, you won't be able to find this spawning or generating within anywhere within Shattered Space or Starfield. Is the end game reward for completing the main quest line? This glorious looking futuristic weapon is another addition to the particle sniper category. And this amazing and this weapon is called the Speaker's Judgment. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the only unique weapon within Shattered Space. This will always be set in stone, having the same modifications and perk, but dealing a whopping 310 damage. Not too bad. It is a particle sniper, so it performs very well in combat in most scenarios. Let's go check some of the modifications that we can get. But before we continue, it's important to note that within Shattered Space, we do have this unique version of the Orion. And currently I have it configured a bit differently, but you can definitely configure it like a sniper. However, there is also the Star Slash, which is more or less just the same thing, but not unique. However, in this configuration, high damage, much more like a sniper. If I fire as fast as I can, you get the idea. When it comes to modifying the end game, Unique weapon, we have laser, the typical choices, recon or laser sight. For the scope, we can opt in for the recon, reflex or short. Puzzle component, we have this a stealth laser, reducing visibility and acoustics. Here in the magazine and battery, we can turn this into electromagnetic beam, making this like a concussion gun. Or we can go for the brutal ignition beam, which we're going to pick. Then we just have the standard large and standard battery. We can extend this damage further by going into the internals amplifier. You do also have overclocked, which will increase its rate of fire. Cool thing is, with this weapon we can go semi-automatic or fully automatic and unfortunately no skins when it comes to modifying the star storm for the barrel we got a couple cool choices which will be reflected visually from a stabilizing barrel standard barrel or a reinforced you can also add the typical recon or laser sight cool thing is you can do a spread nozzle changes the shots to fire more like a shotgun spread or you can focus it in standard grips and magazines for internals amplifier and overclock when it comes to the penumbra we should have some cool options here we have the fluted barrel increasing accuracy and range i'm going to go for the long barrel because that looks epic same option to add a little sight on the top here we have a custom short scope for this weapon which is pretty nice and when it comes to the muzzle we have a giant compensator and a muzzle brake the comp Compensator looks freaking wild, and for internals, we only have the overclock. But when these weapons are upgraded, they look glorious. Now, there are a few more weapons that are new, and I do realize that there's three or four of these that are all just reskins. However, we do have the Advanced Varun Quick Strike, which is a particle weapon, so nothing too new there. For kind of like a reconfigured reskin, it does look pretty cool. We also have a reskinned Orion. This is called the Long Fang. Similar type of deal, looking the same. Nothing too new here. However, we do get one new skin in shattered space and i think it's not too bad something a little bit different now if you do want to get this you'll get this as a reward as a part of mission five of the main quest all these weapons will be upgradable as well now if you're wondering what some of the differences are between these weapons that look very very similar but they're a bit of a reskin well they're just way way stronger so if we just see here we can so if we take the quick strike for instance this is just an advance you'll be able to get legendary versions of these quite rare though but you can see here it has 171 damage with its fast firing rate it is quite potent this is going to be a very good close combat option perfect for taking on ships however if we compare it to the counterpart the soulist only doing a measly 22 damage compared to the quick strike it is mind-blowingly different the quick strike is actually well worthwhile even though it's a reskin and it's easy to just throw it in that reskin basket but it, it actually this actually turns out to be quite a weapon i quite like the reskin too but just to indicate the difference here we are with an advanced solstice and we're going to try fire some rounds and this thing feels like a toy water gun because it does next to no damage. It is never been really utilized or used. I don't know anyone or see very rarely anyone even use this weapon. So it's kind of cool that we've got something that is actually useful now. I mean, look at this. It's just like tickling them. Why would you do that when we can go advance for rune? quick strike and just go douche, 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 and actually do something worth noting and again if we find a legendary version of this it's going to be very very potent i'm looking forward to coming across one so that same high damage pretty much applies to all the varun weapons or all the shattered space weapons they be brutal they do more damage they might be reskins in some of these cases and to be fair they're of highest quality so they look a little bit disappointing for sure but they are just much more buffed up weapons do note though they'll have all the same upgrades however some of them will look more custom than others and there and there you have it that is all the best custom unique weapons in shattered space let me know what you think are you annoyed that some of them are reskins do you like them you at least have to try the penumbra that is a freaking cool weapon in any case in any case thanks so much for watching i'll catch you next time peace